Hey kiddos, we're back. This time we are going to look at some properties of the element magnesium. Remember, we just looked at some properties for copper and we're gonna do the same thing with magnesium and you should be following along maybe on your guided notes, um, uh, filling in these blank spaces in your notes related to properties of magnesium. Remember now that a property is any characteristic that describes matter and that property can either be considered physical or chemical. We haven't dis, uh, defined physical or chemical properties yet, but we will. But those are two different types of properties. So here's some magnesium metal I have here. And you'll notice that it's lustrous. That means it's shiny. And it's silvery or gray in color. In fact, all elemental metals are silver or gray in color, except for two. Can you think of the two elemental metals that are not silver or gray in color? Copper's one, good one. Another one, come on, you can do it. Very good, gold, you got them both. So all other elementals are silver or gray in color. Metals have luster as well. Hey, isn't that a property of magnesium? Isn't it a characteristic that describes magnesium metal? Yeah. Hey, it's also a solid at room temperature. It's not a gas, it's not a liquid at room temperature. And so that would be another characteristic that describes magnesium metal. Hey, let's check its solubility in water. So here's my beaker of water that I had out earlier. We'll go ahead and coil the magnesium up here and we'll drop it in the water and we're gonna see if it is soluble in water. So it just sank to the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's sitting there at the bottom and I'm swirling it around trying to get it to go into solution. Is it gonna dissolve? No. Magnesium is not soluble in water. Things that are not soluble in water, we say are insoluble. So that's a property of magnesium. Hey, it's sunk in water. So isn't its density greater than waters? That's another property of magnesium. God, we're getting properties left and right. How about the next one? Let's see if it's attracted by a magnet. I have my special neodymium magnets and look, I have my, my little Hummer car here. I think this has some metal that's, now oh, look, See how those magnets are so strong they can pull my little Hummer car along. Anyway, we wanna see if the magnesium metal is magnetic. So here's some magnesium, we got a couple of pieces here. What do you guys think? Have you thought yet? All right, let's see. Oh man, magnesium, it does not appear to be magnetic. Hey, that's a property of magnesium. It's not magnetic, non-magnetic, another property of magnesium. How about its reactivity with hydrochloric acid? So here's that beaker that I showed you earlier when we had copper with hydrochloric acid in it. Let's coil up the magnesium and let's see if magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid. We'll just place it in the acid and we're gonna look for a gas forming, maybe it getting hot or cold, a color change, or a precipitate being formed when I put the magnesium metal in the hydrochloric acid. Can you guys see that okay? Should I put it a little closer? Is that better? Okay, eh, maybe a little further back. Okay, we'll put the magnesium in there and we're gonna look for a chemical reaction to see if it reacts with hydrochloric acid. You ready? Whoa, look at that. That's a, whoa, the beaker is sort of warm as well. So it's giving off heat. We call that exothermic. It's giving off a gas. The gas it's giving off, by the way, is hydrogen gas. And the magnesium is reacting with the hydrochloric acid to form a solution of magnesium chloride. So the magnesium atoms are still in there. They have just formed magnesium chloride, which dissolves in the resulting solution. So there we go. Looks like it's all reacted there. Well, a little bit more left. All right. So yeah, I would say magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid. That's a property of magnesium. It's any characteristic that describes matter. All right. Last one for magnesium. Let's get our Bunsen burner turned on again. And we're going to see if magnesium reacts with air. Let's see if it burns in air. So we'll light our burner. There we go. Mr. Hummer does have his safety glasses on here. I'll tilt my camera up just a little bit so you can see it better. -er. And we'll put the magnesium in the flame and we'll see if magnesium reacts with air. Are you ready? We'll put the magnesium inside the flame and we'll check it out. What do you guys think? Do you think magnesium burns in air? Or do you think it's going to be like copper and not burn in air? All right, here we go. Put it in there. Oh, it 
Looks like it's getting hot. Looks like it's getting hot. Oh, is it burning? Oh, look at that. I took it out of the flame and it's still burning. Magnesium does burn in air. My goodness. It's a really, really bright flame. Now when I'm done, you're gonna see the luster of the magnesium is gone. I formed a new chemical compound when it reacted with air. I formed magnesium oxide, which is actually very brittle. So metals generally are not brittle at all. So they're more malleable. So I'm just gonna shake this a little bit. Watch what happens. It shatters and goes into tiny little pieces. Hey, magnesium reacts with air. Isn't that a property of magnesium? Isn't it a characteristic that describes magnesium? All right, we have one more to do. We're gonna do ethanol in just a minute, so stay tuned.